uh, uh, welcome to the webinar on uh, TPS, uh, Lean and uh, uh, Toyota Production System. Uh, we our we are having a, a renowned uh, speaker today, and uh, is basically uh, profile is Mr. Prisit Shiang is from uh, Thailand. Is a senior consultant and is a founder member of Kaizen Institute of Thailand. And he had almost four decades of experience in lean and uh, Toyota production system across the world. And he worked almost more than 20 countries in various uh, industries. And uh, the uh, profile, uh, you know, basically, if you see the profile, basically worked in um, uh, garment industry, worked in engineering industry, worked in automobile companies. He worked in various uh, you know, areas um, and uh, he had uh, exclusive experience, 23 years of experience in industrial engineering and manufacturing management and productivity improvement in uh, uh, precast production, aluminum and rolling uh, packaging, textile and garment industries. And um, is, is, uh, you know, is, uh, uh, if you see his profile almost more than uh, uh, 10 international uh, agencies. He worked with various uh, international agencies, including the uh, UN. UN is, uh, is uh, you know, a uh, uh, lot of work he has done for the UN. And he is, uh, with the help of USAID also, there are many projects he has taken up across the world uh, to develop the productivity in various countries, ex exclusively in the garment industry. And he was a chief productive productivity officer in many you know, industries, many companies. And he was, uh, throughout his career, he was uh, focusing on lean and uh, Toyota production system. And he brought a lot of you know, improvement in operations. So I request Mr. Pisit to take over and you know, uh, introduce uh, and start the session. Yeah. Thank you, Raju. And thank you everyone to be here today. Uh, let me start to share the screen. Can you hear me clearly, Raju? Yeah, I can hear you, sir. Uh, just one minute. I'm just... Yeah, if anyone can cannot hear me, uh, yeah. please raise your hand, okay? And Raju, if they have the question, they should put, they should put it in the uh, chat box. Yeah, we and can... Uh... We can give exclusively 10, 15 minutes for question answers at the end. Yeah, the and, and then, yeah. then you, you can pick up the, the question to ask me during yeah. my presentation, okay? Yeah, yeah. Okay, then let me share the screen. Yeah. Uh, you have to stop I will your screen stop. sharing first. Okay, Raju, can you can you see it? Yeah, Please yeah, check. I can see that. You can uh, make a bigger one, bigger uh, uh, slide okay. presentation mode. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me start. Then. Uh, today, I will present the uh, the essence of lean manufacturing and the Toyota production system. Uh, let me introduce myself a little bit. Uh, I am the industrial engineer and 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 MBA. I work for the United Nations uh, eleven years and the USA USAID uh, two years. This is the, the picture when 
I was the garment industry consultant of the UNIDO. That's 18 years ago. This is uh, the Kaizen Institute Thailand. I am one of the founding partner of the Kaizen Institute Thailand. And this is the uh, outstanding uh, company in Thailand where I was the consultant and the, uh, the trainer. I am also uh, providing the Lean Six Sigma Black Belt uh, training program. This is the uh, eight month training program with the certification. And uh, I, I provide the training in Bangladesh, in Sri Lanka and many country in Asia. This is one of the, uh, the last factory it's what very successful one year lean implementation project at Taiwan food product. And this is where I was the uh, senior way president lean management uh, of the Singaporean garment factory in Cambodia. I was responsible for Cambodia, Indonesia, Malaysia, and Vietnam. This is uh, where I was the uh, lean manager of the automotive industry. Okay, the objective of Toyota and lean production. This course aim to provide you with the what is essential, what is difficult, what is misunderstood. What are the major issues? What are the corporate policy needed to support philosophy of lean? What is the, the Toyota production system? The Toyota production system or the TPS is the integrated socio-technical system that's comprise its management philosophy and practice. The TPS is a management system that's organized manufacturing and logistics. The automotive manufacturer, including interaction with supplier and consumer, uh, customer, I think. Originally called just in time production. Which uh, designed by Taishi Ono and Ichi Toyota. Japanese industrial engineer developed a system between 1948 to 1975. TPS, uh, there are two pillars of the TPS. On the, on the left hand side, it's just in time. Okay. On the right hand side, Kidoka. Just in time, meaning making only what is needed only when it is needed and only the amount that is needed. This is so different from the normal manufacturing because most of the, the, the manufacturing, they use the push system, but Toyota, they are using the pull system. So just in time is the pull system. On the right column is Tidoka, meaning the automation with human touch. So in the red step, the first step of lean transformation is changing to just in time or pool system. Okay. And uh, the Toyota way, actually there are only two sentences of the Toyota way. Number one is respect for the people. Number two is continuous improvement. What is the respect for the people? You have, you have to respect your employee. You have to think about the well-being of your employee before you think about the, the customer. If your employee satisfied in the working condition, of course, the customer will satisfy in your product. And Toyota encourage the teamwork. 
the cultural improvement is challenging and use the Kaizen. Kaizen is mean continuous improvement, anything to, to improve continuously is mean Kaizen. And Kenchi Kenbutsu is mean Kemba, you have to go see. Okay, the Toyota philosophy of the people. The Toyota production system itself based on the belief that the company that ignore human respect will not endure. So Toyota think about the people first. But the normal manufacturing, you think about the process first. That is wrong. If your people don't know, if your people not smart, don't 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 expect your 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 company is smart company. So the, the people a company created asset is its people. Toyota does as much as possible to take care of the employee. Recognizing first and foremost the importance of job security. So that is the philosophy, this is the expectation of Toyota. One is the people. People enjoy their work when it involves trying out their own idea, mastering new skill and making visible contribution. Teamwork is the foundation of TPS. All employees are required to participate to follow the rule and principle of TPS. The operator who are the most knowledgeable of any manufacturing operation are people who perform that job daily. Their involvement is critical to the success of implementation of TPS. Good thinking is mean good product. Employees are expected to contribute to the improvement of their own work. So you can see the difference between the normal manufacturing philosophy and Toyota philosophy. The people, respect for the people first. The people is not the cost, the people is the asset. The people can make you either a profit or loss. Okay. And this is what is the lean? This is the definition of lean from the MIT or Massachusetts Institute of Technology. Lean is a system approach to eliminating waste or NVA or non value added and creating value through continuous improvement in pursuit of perfection by flowing the product at the pool of the customer. Uh, if I could say my definition of lean, lean is, is the process improvement, lean is shortening the process time, that's it. Very easy. How you shorten the process time. This is the definition of lean. Why lean implementation is mostly fail? You know, you believe that? It said that 95% of lean implementation is fail. And the pitfall are number one, management lack of knowledge and no commitment. This is, this is, I, I have experience in lean implementation 18 years. This is the number one, this is number one, this is, management lack of knowledge and no commitment i think is more than 50 percent of 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 the failure number two employee don't know the waste you know if you ask what is the eight ways to the employee nobody know employee are disengaged in the problem solving number three no leans operating system, just copy the other. 
number four, inexperienced lean engineer. You want to, you know, implement lean, but but the one who who implement lean, the lean leader, they 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 are not qualified. They don't know how to implement lean correctly. No lean department in the organization. If you you have to if you have to succeed in in the lean in the lean implementation, you have to have the lean department. And if you don't have lean department, you assign to the operation management, but they are too busy. Lean is not the uh, the uh, hobby. Next is unable to change the mindset of the employee. Next, no implementation roadmap and wrong approach. Next, this is this is very important. Top down management only working for the boss, not the customer. If your organization they don't know what is the KPI of the customer, they know only working for the boss. What the boss want, you fail. The last one is for focusing on KPI results, not the result improvement. This is the failure of lean. Lean implementation, 10 success rules. Number, number one, top management must be committed by making lean implementation policy. Lean results should be encouraged for rate increasing. Management have to select the qualified lean project leader. Management need to provide a combination plan to the employee all level. Management need to set up volunteer cross-functional team five to seven people from many sections. If you have the problem, you have to uh, impose the what we call uh, horizontal management. What mean horizontal management? It means you have to encourage the, uh, the cross-functional team to improve the, the problem. Next, management appoint the lean implementation team. Next, training lean implementation team with lean tool and provide lean study and trip where it's successful implemented. And number seven is very important. 5S must be successfully implemented or over organization. Impossible if you fail in 5S. Don't, don't, don't jump to the uh, to the second step or the third step or higher. 5S is the foundation of lean. 5S is the foundation of Kaizen. 5S is the foundation of safety. 5S is the foundation of TPM. If you fail 5S, it means the building collapse. So please keep in mind, 5S is the turning point for it is the uh, crucial point of lean implementation. Okay, next. Uh, the benefit of lean manufacturing, I think you most, most of you know, quality, performance, better, fewer machine breakdown, lower level of inventory, uh, greater level of stock turnover, less space required, higher efficiency, more output per man hour or more job per hour, improved delivery performance, faster development, greater customer satisfaction, improved employee morale and involvement, improved supplier relation, of course, higher profit and increase the business. Lean is originated from the Toyota production system. Taiichi Ono was an industry engineer and assembly manager of Toyota who devised seven ways in the working process. TPS improved production flow by eliminating waste in the process and later become lean in the USA. 
So, uh, Toyota is the stockless production system. It's just in time, you know. Uh, Toyota, they don't have the, uh, the raw material warehouse. They don't have the uh, finished good warehouse, same as my factory last year in the automotive industry. I produce the axle of the truck. We don't have the material, raw material warehouse. We don't have the uh, finished finished good warehouse. Whatever I want tomorrow is is coming today, three o'clock. And that's it. Just for tomorrow only. Just what I needed. Not more than that. I have the red square, uh, color red square for the incoming raw materials. Okay. And for the uh, finished good, I have also the area of Nissan F for the uh, Mazda for the Ford. And that's it. Every day when finish and move to the uh, deliver to the uh, to the customer. So we don't have. It's really just in time. This is Taishi Ono. Taishi Ono was the Japanese industrial engineer. Yeah. This is what I would say he is the father of lean. And how Toyota improved the workflow. Toyota, they, they don't they don't they don't say the word lean. They, this is that is not the terminology of Toyota, but they say only 3M or Muri Muda Mura. This is the philosophy of, of Lean. This is the real philosophy of Lean. The 3M is three enemy of the of the, the process uh, breakdown. Number one is Muri, is mean overproduction. Overproduction is mean uh, it's not just in time. If you push the raw materials more than is needed in the production line, that you create the waste or muda. And when you have the muda or seven waste, it's uneven workflow. It creates the bottleneck. So the cost, the cost, the root cost of the seven waste is the old production. So if you want to implement lean, the first step you have to implement is changing your push system to pull system or changing from uh, make to order, to, um, sorry, make to stock to make to order. Because uh, the, the, the flowing up of the product is not smooth. If you have overproduction, okay. What what are the eight ways or are the seven ways? Actually, we have uh, seven ways, but we have the eight number. Uh, ways number eight is non-utilized uh, talent. Let me explain the uh, the ways. So it's very easy. You can you can remember. D O W N T I M E Dao Tam. Okay. D is defect. What's it mean defect? It means rework, it means rejected, or behind the target, or delay, mistake, are waste, and non value added. This is the customer will not pay you. If you have rework, recheck behind the target delay. Number two is overproduction. It's unneeded work, material, tool, data, man, advanced work are non valuated. So, overproduction is the biggest enemy of the uh, lean manufacturing. Waiting, waiting time, cost, 
by seven ways is done evaluated and considered cost. Waiting any waiting, you don't get the money. You don't get the money. None utilize talent. This is Toyota, they don't have this one. This is not a waste in Toyota because Toyota system is down top, is not top down. So the all employees are participate in in the uh, improvement. In Toyota, they are about one more than one thousand Kaizen projects per year. I'm talking about in Thailand only. Huh? In Thailand only, there are more than one thousand. So employees are disengaged in the problem solving due to the inadequate training. This is the, uh, in the other industry. The big problem is in non-utilized the talent. Next is transportation. Excessive handling due to poor workstation layout. Proceed, go around and in a circle. This is the transportation, excessive transportation is waste. Inventory, of course, in excessive raw material work in process or finished good due to the machine breakdown, some material delay, that is huge inventory and is wasteful. Motion, what is the motion? It's, it's pick up and this post, you know, in, in one workstation, you can see the, if you have bad five S, bad set in order, so you create the uh, excessive motion. You pick up the tool, you pick up the uh, workpiece or the document, that is the waste. Extra processing, extra, what, what is mean extra processing? Extra processing is mean extra work is not expected, like, like, uh, accident, repair, rework, reprocess, damage, any added additional process. This is this is extra process. Okay. Uh, actually, uh, TPS Toyota production system is was called just in time production. So lean was the just in time production. What is the just in time production? Flow the product, pool system, tech time planning, Kambang, supermarket, water spider. Uh, if any question you can ask me later, no? Yamasumi and live balancing. Summit is mean single minute exchange die or you change the uh, style or change the product and visual control. This is the uh, component of the just-in-time production. This is very easy. You can see just-in-time in KFC. This is the, uh, the, the customer demand. The customer is lie up here. And this is the kambang, kambang rack. You have to fry the chicken right quantity, right time, right quality, right cost, and right information. So just in time with 5R. So from, from here, from the chicken rack, this is, uh, you have to just in time for the frying chicken and then the upstream process. This is just in time until to the uh, chicken farm. Okay, and this is just in another example of just in time in the garment industry. This is this is my my factory uh, in very small factory in in the uh, province in Thailand. I chain everything in just in time, and I pay them uh, group incentive. They they were very happy, and they can. I don't pay them for the uh, for the defects. They have to, they have to be the uh, the QC themselves. They have to check. I have a, only one QC. If you have the defect, I have to return to the module for the, for fixing. 
This, this is just in time. Li is the pool system. Okay, here. In 1990, Dr. James Womack, professor at MIT, wrote the book, the book name, The Machine That Changed the World. This guy, Dr. James Womack, he graduated political science. He's not an engineer, but he, 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 he is like the future, future, futurist. And this is uh, Daniel Jones. He graduated economy. So Lean was the uh, storytelling of uh, the social scientists and the economists. So if you see in Lean, you cannot see in deeper about the process. Uh, Liz, what, this is what the five year study on the future of the automotive by Jim Womack and Daniel Jones from Massachusetts Institute of Technology in 1990. The machine that changed the world first published in 1990. Toyota was a half side of the General Motors at that time. 20 years later, Toyota passed GM as the world's largest automaker. This management system classic was the first book to review TPS. That's it, the basic for enduring the process. Okay, this is the comparison between TPS at the red column and lean in the blue column. The system called TPS, Toyota Production System, this one uh, called Lean. System designer, TPS designed by industrial engineer. Lean designed by the social scientists. The goal of TPS is product productivity improvement and cost reduction. The goal of Lean is minimize the customer value. The principle of TPS it's respect for the people and continuous improvement is very simple. Principle of lean, they are five. Principle of lean, number one is value definition. Number two is identify the value stream. Number three, flow. Number four, pool system. Number five is perfection of Kaizen. The normal condition, uh, the Toyota production system focused on flow, but lean focused on perfect process. Focus on improvement, TPS focus on human development, but lean focus on process. Teaching method, TPS using Kemba and Kaizen. Lean, using the meeting room. Object of the interest, TBS interest in waste, unevenness, unreasonableness, lean. Object of interest is value creating activity. And the research outcome, customer satisfaction and survival, lean. The outcome expected outcome is perfect value. So it's quite different. So you, uh, I show you uh, lean, they don't have the tools. Lean has no tool. So uh, this is the, uh, when somebody asked Jim Womack, how do you measure the success of lean? And okay, let's see what he, his answer. How do you measure the success of a lean transformation? How do you know if you're on a, the right track mm -hmm. uh, towards uh, lean management or instilling lean mm -hmm. leadership? Mm -hmm. Well, look, uh, lean is judged by what it does. Um, so therefore, uh, working backwards from your customers, are you doing a better job of solving their problems with less resources? Uh, that's always the question. Now, by the way, uh, less resources, you heard headcount reduction. No, I heard growth. If I'm solving as an organization customer problems with less resource, that means I can solve more problems. 
So therefore, the only uh, question is not an input, uh, how many Kaizens have we done, uh, how, much, uh, how many 5S projects have we done, but an output, uh, what's happened to our ability to solve customer problems cost effectively? Okay, that's the only measure of a lean program. Okay, then the success of lean is measured by a number of Kaizen project and 5S project. Is mean lean and TBA is the same thing. Lean and TBA is the same thing. But the impact of lean management after the uh, the machine that changed the world written, lean is changing the world, really changing the world. Look at this. This is the past and the future of lean. Lean begin with just in time and stay in the uh, automotive industry about 30 years. And after 2006, lean go beyond the factory. Now lean is in, you know, 2007 to 2025, it's lean management system. Now lean is applicable for bank, for logistics, for hospital, for manufacturing, for government, for construction, for everything now. Wherever you have the process, you can apply lean management. And in the future, lean is the solution for information flow. Is the solution for the information flow because uh, now for the industry of 4.0, we focus on the information flow. So Lean is moving to, to, to that point. Okay, Lean is changing from make to stock push system to make to order. You see now changing from make to stock to make to order or pool system. You now you can see the shopping online. This is the pool system. Look at this. This is on the left side. It's not access anymore. You have to change. This is this is the pool system. If if you have the clothes shop like this, this is the pool system. It's made to order. They don't have to carry stock. Today, they, they, they have the make to order. They have the, the order tomorrow. They, they order the, uh, the, the apparel from the factory. You see, you can minimize the, the inventory. So, lean change the world. Everything now. Everything is chain to online, make to order. Lean has no tool, but apply tool of TPS. Okay, this is the how of TPS and Lean. Lean and TPS use the same house. Use the same house. The how of TPS, there are two pillars. On the left side, just in time. On the right side, Jidoka. And on the roof is best quality, charted process time, lowest cost, best safety and morale. Through shortening process time by it best elimination. What is shut in time? Flow the product using the tech time. Process balance, pool system, Kanban, visual control, submit and value stream. Jidoka, what's mean Jidoka? It mean emergencies, light, zoning control, problem solving, defect, analysis, A3, thinking, visual control, performance analysis. Jidoka is mean stop immediately. In, in my uh, Excel factory, we have everywhere, we have the, uh, the poster, Stop, wait, call, stop, wait, call. Don't proceed. If the quality is not good, you have to stop immediately. It's in Jidoka. And employee involvement is very, very 
important for for lean and TPS. What is the employee invo involvement? What is what are the tools? Number one is five S. Number two is total quality control or quality circle. Number three TP TPM, Kaizen circle, suggestion system, develop competency, game back, supplier integrated, and this is the foundation of lean and TV is standardized work, standardized process, and robust process, machine equipment stabilized. You have to use OEE metric. What TBS element that is missing in the lean manufacturing? Uh, lean manufacturing from Tim Womack is the storytelling, but it's missing long-term vision of TPS. The horizontal quality management, respect for the people, employee and supplier. The people is mean employee and supplier, not only, not only the employee. Hidoka, stop COVID, Kaizen culture, Kemba. Employee development, leadership development, supplier development, and TPM. Okay, this is the uh, five step of lean thinking from uh, Jim Womack. Number one is Walu definition. What is the VA? What is the Walu added? What is non Walu added? What is necessary non Walu added or in NVA? I will show you uh, the video clip, what is the Walu definition? Number two is Walu screen mapping. Walu screen mapping is actually, uh, uh, if you know where is the problem, you don't need to do it. It's process mapping to find the NVA. Number three is flow improvement. This is how to eliminate the waste. Number four is pool system, changing push to pool by tech time planning and Kanban. The last one is continuous improvement by Kaizen. But Japanese start from three, four, five. But the Western start from one, two, three, four, five. TBS start from only three, four, five. They don't they don't even even conduct the Walu stream analysis. Because you know what? The bottleneck is the waste. Remember my word. Where is the you found the bottleneck waste? You found the machine breakdown or process breakdown. That's it, the waste. No need to analyze, no need to waste time for analyzing the whole process. Wherever the bottleneck, wherever the machine stop, where the process stop, that is waste. Okay, lean step one, value definition. You can see, uh, normally we, we don't know what, we know the waste, but we don't know what is the value added. In this video clip, you can see exactly what is the value added, what the, com what the customer pay you. Okay, you can see. Now, here's the irony of it. As efficient as this is, most of what she's doing is waste. Shigeo Shingo said the only time value is added is when you're changing, changing something. You're actually changing the metal. So ready? Everyone tell me when she's making value. Is this value, 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 or non-value? What is it? Okay, try to count and value non-value actions in the next episode, and then we compare your result with the actual one.
Non-value, 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 value, value, non-value, 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 value, value, non-value, 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 non-value. Non-value, 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 value, value, non-value, 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 non-value. No value, 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 material or information into something the customer wants so you see the the value is only seven percent the value is only seven percent and necessary non-value at that or pick up this post placing the workpiece in the machine that is necessary but you have to minimize it but the waste the waste is walk, is waiting in any operation, is waste, is non value. And this is the big part of one second time. You can see this is uh, how is this value and non value. Look. <laughs> Okay, uh, actually you don't have to worry about the, the waste so much. What you have to improve it in NVA is the pick up at this post time in the process. Actually, this is the, the major part of the second time. Lead number two is value stream mapping. Step two, this is the uh, value stream mapping. Okay, you have to raw the process or this value stream. And you can calculate the, uh, the, this is for example, the current method. Okay, this is the uh, production lead time is 
12.5 day processing time only 3.5 hour this is only only the second time this 0.5 1.5 1 hour 0.5 hour it's mean the uh, processing time is only 3.5 but the, the lead time is 12.5 days and you have to shorten how to improve the uh, waste to shorten the process time. The objective of VSM develop the common understanding of the current process, the relation of process step, a true picture of the process, creates a baseline to measure the improvement against, define a vision of future process, establish common leadership objective, identify opportunity for the improvement, design and implementation plan for the improvement. Uh, value stream mapping is the material and information flow chart of TPS. In Toyota production system, they don't use VSM, but they use MIFC, material information flow chart. It is the same thing, but normally in, in the uh, automotive industry, we, I, I, I've been there a year. I never, I never analyzed the uh, value stream mapping because it's very easy. Wherever the machine broken, that is the problem. If the bottleneck operation in the process is known, we, we as in it's unnecessary. Improvement and bottleneck operation can be made right away. Step three, this is lean and TBA, the same things, flow improvement. The tool of flow improvement is number one is 5S, number two, TPM, PM, AM, autonomous maintenance. This is mostly in the garment industry, they don't have the autonomous maintenance. OEE management, standard day work and standard work chart, Yamasumi and line balancing, method improvement, and submit or style changing or product changing. Step four is pool system. Pool system, you have to use the uh, tech time planning. Just in time, Production, use Kambang, supermarket, water spider, just in time with supplier. Like, like what I mentioned, uh, my supplier, tomorrow I, I have the production schedule and my supplier has also the uh, production schedule. What I want, they know tomorrow, what kind of accessory, what kind of part, they put it in my incoming area. I don't have the, the warehouse. Zero material inventory. Step five is uh, perfection with the Kaizen contest improvement. Uh, Kaizen, you have to start from uh, standard day work, improve standard day work, and PD, start from SDCA to PDCA, SDCA to PDCA, and so on. Perfection or continuous improvement, the, the tune of the uh, is number one is uh, stop COVID. Number two is Q point. You have to provide the Q point every uh, operation. Root cause analysis. Gemba, Kamishibai. I'll show you what is Kamishibai later. Team member skill development, team leader development, and A3 report. This is the uh, the lean operating system. This is my design. I I I can decide for uh, Raju. This one I will give it to you, Raju, because uh, this is the the lean roadmap. Okay. If you want to transform, yeah, lean, you have to follow the uh, seven step roadmap. Fantastic. Okay. I'll give you later. Okay. The Toyota 14 management principle. Number one, principle one, based on your management decision on long-term philosophy. 
even at the expense of short-term financial goal. Number two, creates continuous process flow to bring the problem to the surface. This is the flow. You know, Toyota changed the intermittent system to continuous system. This is very good. In the garment industry, you, 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 should, you should connect the packing operation to the sewing operation to be just in time. This is changing from intermittent process to the continuous process. And there are many, many transportation system in the garment industry, which is trying to change from intermittent process to the semi-continuous process. This is good. The principle three, pool system. This is from here, pool, pool, pool. F factory from supplier, pool from supplier, customer pool from the factory. Principle number four, label all the workload or hen uh, This one is like this. Toyota is mixed product on the time. It's not one color and one, one model, three day or five day or one week. They mix the uh, the color or they mix the model all the time, what they call is hen chung ka. Principle number five, build the culture to up stopping to fix the problem. This is very, very important. And this principle, I, I haven't seen not many factory can do this because you don't stop immediately but you 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 think okay i am going to to fix it i'm going to teach the operator i'm going to to do it later but eventually this become the chronic problem so in toyota and in the automotive system we stop immediately we have free free don't number one don't make the defect Number two, don't pass the defect. Number three, don't accept the defects. So this is the philosophy. Everyone, every employee is the rule of, of the production. Don't pass, don't accept, don't make it. This is, uh, I think the quality rule is, is very important. Principle number six is standardized work. This is, this is what most of the manufacturing missing. You, actually, the first thing you have to stand up, that is the work method. Okay. Uh, I, I, I think I don't have time, enough time to show this one. Oh, okay, let's see, let's see. In 10 seconds, you're going to see an amazing video from the Lean Smarts Academy. To see more, click here and start a free trial today. Welcome to this introductory video about standardization. This topic is a big deal. It may not win a popularity contest or be at the top of the list of your lean manufacturing tools you want to implement, but it is absolutely critical to your success. You will not succeed with Lean or Kaizen if you do not practice standardization well. It's why Taiichi Ono, the founder and architect of the Toyota production system, once said, without standards, there can be no Kaizen. If you want to practice Kaizen, if you want to improve, but you do not learn and love standardization in standard work, you're just not going to get there. You will not succeed. So this topic is massively important. It's one that everyone must learn to appreciate and respect. So in this video, I'm going to give a few definitions about what is a standard, what is standardization, and what is standard work, and then give you some reasons why standardization matters so very much. So let's get started. What is a standard? A standard is simply a rule or guideline for how something is done. That's it. Pretty simple.
It can be used to describe really any characteristic of a process. So here's a list of a few different ways you might create a standard. A process parameter, machine settings, time as in cycle time or other time parameters, layout, parts and materials, equipment and tools, colors or methods. All of these and more can be described in terms of a standard. You can have a common way, a standard way of doing all of these different things and more. So standards are really everywhere. They apply to absolutely everything that you could be doing. So then what is standardization? Standardization is simply a process for creating or updating a standard. You've got standards or you're missing standards. Well, standardization is what you do when you create a standard or when you take an existing standard and replace it or upgrade it with an improved standard. That's what standardization is. So then what is standard work? Standard work is a unique standard for the methods used to do something. So we're focusing now on the methods, not necessarily all these other criteria like colors or um, the process parameters or things like that per se, but really the methods I use as a person to get my work done. That's the work sequence, perhaps how much time, what tools I use, and what other tricks I might know as a trained person to get the job done. The methods, that's what standard work is really all about. It's also called standardized work. So those two terms, standard work and standardized work, they can be used interchangeably. It's really the best demonstrated way for doing something. The best demonstrated. It's not just an idea. It's not a theory. It's something that's been proven out and demonstrated, not written at, an, at a desk, um, but rather demonstrated on the floor. If we can do it, then we can write it as a standard. If we can't do it, then we better not be writing it down as a standard. So we've looked at what a standard is, what standardization is, and even standard work or standardized work. Well, why does standardization matter? Why do all of these terms matter? There's a ton of reasons why. I'm gonna give you a handful of them here. The first is to improve safety. Safety is a major reason why standardization matters because if you have a best way of doing things, it should be the safest way. So standards keep people safe. Another reason is to preserve quality. If you've got a best way of doing things, it should result in the highest level of quality. Next, to achieve consistency. The moment you have a standard, you've got a target and everyone in the organization can be focused on the same target. That creates consistency. No matter how many people you have or how many shifts, you can now be consistent by having a common target. Next is to train people. It's just not possible to train people effectively if you don't have a standard to train them to, and then even a standard training process. Without that, a standard and a standard training process, you're gonna have variable results in the training that you perform. Another reason is to measure performance. You cannot measure performance unless you've got a baseline, a standard. Performance is just the gap between your expected level of performance and your actual. The performance is the gap, but you can't measure the gap if you don't have a standard. The next is to solve problems. Whenever you have a problem, a non-conformance or other type of problem, whether internally or externally from a customer, the first question you should ask is, is there a standard? And next, are we following that standard? And then if you are following the standard, is the standard appropriate? When you use standards well, it really, really helps problem solving because you know what the heck was happening versus one out of the dozen different ways that people get the job done. The next reason is to demonstrate improvement. You simply cannot demonstrate improvement unless you have a baseline, just like measuring performance. And this in part is what Taiichi Ono was referencing. 
You cannot claim Kaizen. You cannot demonstrate Kaizen unless there's a standard, a baseline that you can measure against to say, I have a better way now than we used to do uh, yesterday. Without standards, you just can't demonstrate that. Another reason is to make improvements stick. You might be really gung-ho and excited about uh, Kaizen, but your improvements, your Kaizens are not going to stick in your organization unless your organization standardizes your improvements. The last reason is to empower you. Standardization makes empowerment possible. Without standards in place, the words you're empowered really don't carry much weight because no matter what people do, what ideas they have, they're not gonna stick, they're not going to be adopted, they really can't transform an organization. So if, you're, if you believe in empowering people to use their genius to make things better and transform your organization, you've got to use standards. The moment you're using them well, it's easy. If anybody wants to improve things, all they gotta do is go through the process of updating a standard and then it happens. That's what empowerment really means. Uh, actually, the benefit of the standardization uh, also is, is for the standard time. It's for the setting standard time. Please keep in mind that if you conduct the time study from the, <clears throat> from the poor method, that is not the standard time. That is the poor method time. And the last one, I think, is the, the benefit of standardization is the cost calculation as well. Okay. Thank you for helping me in <laughs> breaking. Next is, this is the standard work chart. You have to lay out the, uh, the movement of the process or the uh, work element. Okay. What is the sequence? One, two, three, four, five, six. This is the standard work chart, and you can analyze the work time, the machine time, the waiting time, the walk time. You you can see, and this is the uh, the five S. S number two set in order is facilitate to minimize the pick up this spot, reduce the motion. You see, you can use the color uh, of the tray, color tray for easy in picking up and this post. And this is the uh, standard works run chart. After that, after we have the standard this work, we have to continue with the uh, line balancing or Yamasumi. The Yamasumi chart is, is the chart to illustrate the uh, VA, N VA and NNVA, you can see. Uh, and when you compare with the tech time, you can balance. I think the uh, engineer in, in garment industry know this thing very well. This is the principle number seven, it's virtual control. When we are talking about the virtual control, it's mean the S number two is set in order. So you put everything easily, it's visualized, it's e easy to bring up, easy to put it back. Okay. And this is the Kamishibai. Kamishibai is mean uh, what you have to, to do, what you have to conduct the preventive maintenance daily, weekly, and monthly uh, by using the card. The red is mean. Uh, not yet done, and the green one is mean already done. And the visual control is, is the uh, inline performance report as well. Okay, next. Principle number eight, use technology to support the people, not replace the people. Reject technology that's conflict with the culture. Principle number nine, grow the leader who truly understand the work, live the philosophy and teach it to the others. The people 
they have to educate, train, and empower. So, uh, the important point of TPS is encourage the people, respect the people, train them, empower them. Principle number 10, yeah, it's respect for the people. Use the cross-functional team to improve quality and productivity. Principle number 11, supplier development. Have respect for your partner and supplier and treat them as an extension of your company. TPS, you know, they don't have the incoming quality inspection. The philosophy of quality improvement of TPS is quality as source. So Toyota will send the engineer to the supplier to assure the quality is delivered to Toyota. So when the, the part delivered to Toyota is mean 100% good quality. Actually, the automotive is the assembly plan, it's not the manufacturing plan, it's assembly plan. Toyota, Nissan, Ford, they don't have the they, they don't have the, 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 the part manufacturing plan, they are the assembly. So the quality uh, control at supply is very, very important. Number 12 is Kemba. It means uh, you have to go see the real scene. You have to go see the actual location, the actual material, the actual product, the actual problem. Taiichi Ono has the, uh, what, what, what they call is, what he calls Ono Circle. He asked an engineer to stand and observe an operation eight hour, you know, in, in the circle to see why, why, why. And why, why not, why not, why not? And who, who, who? There are three, three W. Number 13, make decisions slowly by consensus. Don't jump to conclusion. Every, every problem they have to conduct, the root cause, what, where, when, who, why, why analysis. The last one is become the learning organization. And okay, this one, you have to take it back to your home. Check that what are different between Toyota production system and existing system of your organization, okay? And next is the Toyota talent development. I, I, I don't. I don't have time. I don't have enough time. This is uh, still be in, in 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 my language. Okay, that's it. The uh, my presentation today. Next is a uh, question and answer. Now it's almost uh, two hours. Okay. So, fantastic, uh, sir. Uh, I request uh, participants to ask questions directly. Please, uh, please. They can, uh, they I can I cannot hear you. Please speak, uh, uh, they, they speak can, louder. They can, they can ask questions uh, in sure. the chat box. Chat box. So we will answer those questions one by one. Aha. Uh -huh. Next, uh, next uh, fifteen minutes only question answers, and then yeah. we will see what uh, uh, how to you know the next plan. You are uh, some plan you can you know probably the training plan you can announce in the at the end. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I uh, so, uh, f f forum is open for the question answers. You can uh, leave uh, the question in the chat box. Raju, can you get uh, the uh, the question? I am going yeah, to the yeah, toilet yeah, and yeah. be right back. Okay, and yeah, I yeah. I want you I want yeah. you to yeah because some you know some pronunciation <laughs> maybe yeah. somebody I cannot I cannot pick up the pronunciation. I'll I'll, 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 I'll read out the question. Yes, Thank yes. You. Thank you. I'll be right back. Yeah, yeah.
so you can uh, leave the questions uh in the chat box we will uh, once he comes back we will be you know answering those questions um please let let us know or if you want to speak i can allow you to speak directly uh, because we don't know is a this is a webinar option uh, we can still we can uh, try to you know connect you to mr uh, pisit we'll try to do that also but uh, that will take time uh, in in meantime you try to type the question in the you know in the chat box Okay, I'm back. Okay, sir. There is a question uh, from uh, Sri Raman. Please, please speak louder. I, uh, I uh, can you can please, you hear me take, now? Please take off the okay. earphone. Yeah. Okay. Can I hear? Can you hear me now? Yes, better. Okay. Okay. See, uh, the question is uh, from uh, Sri Raman. Mm -hmm. uh, is isn't a jet a jet gel delivery calls for some inventory forecast of raw material in the warehouse. Is isn't uh, it delivery calls for some inventory or forecast of raw material in warehouse? Then how it is called as a no inventory production? Uh, actually, the the car manufacturing is the is made to stock because it is the brand, you know. But they change from make to stock to make to order. By the now, if you if you want to buy one car, you have to you have to deposit, you have to make the reservation, right? Yeah. This is the way they they change from make to stock to make to order. Okay. And then uh, when they have the production schedule, which is correspond to which is related to the the customer requirement from the showroom, and every part, everything put it in ERP. Okay. And they 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 synchronize the uh, production planning. I mean production schedule between Toyota and and the the part manu manufacturer. You know there are about two hundred fifty part manufacturer to supply Toyota. It's it's two hundred two hundred fifty because one 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 car there are there are almost eight thousand parts, right? So uh, they just had the just in time, and uh, in in Thailand we have the what we call is automotive cluster, and the supplier of Toyota they mostly set up the factory nearby Toyota because they if they want tomorrow, today three o'clock you have to deliver the uh, the material in the factory. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, there is a second question from uh, Mr. Ramesh. Mm -hmm. uh, I would like to know the mo more on uh, how the lean systems can be helpful in Industry Four. Of course, lean is uh, is is reducing the cost. Uh, whatever waiting time defect, the the customer don't pay you. But the problem is you don't know. The the big problem you don't you you are working with the waste you don't know what it you don't know what are the waste and you don't know what what is the value added you cannot distinguish between value added and non value added and okay if you have for example if you have one thousand employee and you work uh 300 day per year and you work eight hours per day and if one one thousand people each people they have waste about 20 minutes you can you can multiply one thousand multiply by 20 minutes per day and multiply by 300 
day. You see, just huge. This is big money. Yes. Next okay. question. Uh, there is a question related to uh, industry for us. Okay. Uh, can we use the TPS for a process manufacturing system? If it if it looks it is for automotive plants assembly line. It's it's well applicable for everything. Okay. It can use for the passport process, you know, in Thailand or in the hospital. Okay. TPS can be used in even service. Yes. Okay. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. You know the inspiration of the uh, of the heart attack uh, operation improvement is they they see the the, the changing tire of the uh, Formula One in 1951 F1, and 2013. F1. F1. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So yeah. when the doctor see this, wow! Is you know it seventy years ago. You take 17 minutes to change the tire. Yeah. And now you take only 1.97 minutes. Yes, mi to, to, yes, to change to, to change the uh, the tire. Now then the uh, the stroke the stroke yeah. uh the stroke operation. Yeah. Doctor can doc there is one doctor put in the ambulance to 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 uh treat the patient at the place. Okay. And and they, it changed from seventy five percent paralyzed to seventy five percent safe. Wow, fantastic! Yes, so yes. This is, this everything is, is lean. Everything yeah. is lean. Yeah. Everything, uh, whatever improvement, whatever process improvement, whatever you can do it faster. That's lean. I think healthcare mag benefited maximum from lean. Yes. In, a, in the number of uh, in lives saved because of the faster systems. You know where where is the most the most important of lean operation? You know, can can you guess where? What operation? Healthcare, I think. Yeah. Huh? Healthcare. Yes. In the operations room. Okay. You need five years, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In the operation room, you need five years. You need set in order. You need clean yeah. cleanliness. Yeah. Yes. Correct. Otherwise, the patient die. And uh, in India, there is uh, Narayana Urdala. They are very, you know, from the beginning, they are uh, trying to adopt this because they want to use a doctor's time effectively in the hospital. Yeah. So they started implementing uh, almost uh, 2010 onwards. So they are uh, lean, they are promoting and uh, yeah. to get them to uh, basically maximize their productivity. Yeah. Just, just keep in mind that if you waste the time, yeah, it means the, the the customer will not pay you, yeah, when your correct. operation is waiting time. Yes, correct. Right. So you have to eliminate the waiting time, waiting for the machine breakdown, waiting for the information, waiting for the approval, waiting for the buyer decision, waiting for the materials. Yeah. Correct. Many. Yeah. And nobody pay you for the non-value adding activity. Yes, yes. Yeah. You concentrate on only one word, waiting. Everything, waiting is the junction of the yeah. waste. Yeah. It's the junction of the waste. Yes. It's caused from machine broken. It's caused from man, uh, uh, untrained man. Okay. Everything is go to the junction of waiting. Yeah. Yes. Anything else? And uh, there is a question related to uh, uh, one more question from uh, Satish. Uh, what should be the starting point for lean? Number one, you have to uh, standardize work. Standardization. Okay. Yes. Go to every operation. Now in your in 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 your organization in your company. If you go see one operation and there are five people working on this operation, there are five methods. Am I correct? Yeah. That is unacceptable. You have to standardize. Yeah. Standardization, this is number one. Standardization yes. is the foundation for lean. Yes. And five is, uh, is the very important tool of the standardization. Yeah. 
okay and just in time also you okay. have to define what tool you need it what material you need it what inventory you need it yeah what information you need it what the utensil what is the basket you need it yeah. this is the just in time in the workplace yeah, there is a question related to SMED single minute exchange of die. They are asking the uh, SMED stands for, you know, single minute exchange of die. So that is the self explanatory. Mm. Uh, single minute of exchange of die is uh, used in Toyota to, you know, for a die change. And uh, mm. in a F1, uh, they, we can call it as a single second uh, tire exchange. Mm. Exchange of tire. Yeah. Single single second exchange of tire. Mm. It's a F1 uh, is a basically they change the tires in a few you know uh, seconds. Yeah. So that is the one. And uh, how many industries are practicing TPS in India? Any idea? Oh, uh, normally they 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 practice lean and they don't know lean is TPS. Yeah. So why 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 they are mostly fail? Because they, they think lean is, is from the US and they are walking, you know, six sack. Yeah. They don't know exactly what, what is the, the, the lean tool. Actually, lean, lean has no tool. You can see 5S, Kambang, everything is, is TBS. Yeah. Majority, you know, these OEMs generally practice uh, Toyota production system in India in different forms. Uh, OEMs. OEMs. Original equipment manufacturers. Normally, TPS is very well known in the automotive industry. Yeah, you can see in Tata, in uh, what in, in the automotive industry, yeah. they copy from from, from Toyota. Yeah, Toyota, yes. Yeah. But in the other industry, I don't think they they, they are in advanced. Yeah, they 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 call their own name. They, they mm, yeah. They are not using the Toyota, but they use their own name. But uh, mm, they, yeah, yeah. They mostly uh, uh, they set up their own system. Yeah, yeah. Correct. Like the uh, uh, VOS, VOS, yeah. like that. Yeah, yeah. So there is a one. OS it means operating system. Yeah. And then the first the first first one is the company name. Mm -hmm. So there is a one more question uh, from Mr. Radha Krishnan. Invariably, you have used JIT and full system. Is the JIT and full system are same? What? JIT and full system is the JIT. Ah, full system, system yes, yes, same. Same. Is that full system? Uh, just in yes, just in time and full system same. Okay. Okay. Same. So that yes. was the question actually. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. If there are three machine in the production line, okay? okay. Machine number three, how many per hour? Okay. So machine number two have to have to deliver to machine number three. Okay. Uh, according to the, the capacity of number three, same as number one. Yeah. You know, it's it's balancing, it's balancing. Yeah, line balancing. Yeah, it's, it's like line balancing. Yeah. So uh, there is a one more question. What is the correlation between eight uh, pillars of TPM and two pillars of TPS? TPM, you know, most most of the process breakdown and um, and quality problem is come from the machine. Okay. So the people the employee has responsibility to yeah. to conduct the preventive maintenance toyota employee they have to check the seven abnormalities every day every time when they found the abnormality in any machine they hang the red tag okay. that's one uh it, if we have the training, I mean the workshop, okay. uh, we, 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 we can conduct this one. We, we can show the, uh, the, the video clip and, and, and uh, the participant can hang the red tag. What reason and what are the uh, seven abnormality? So 
the production has to responsible for OEE or overall equipment effectiveness. Okay. Machine breakdown is the KPI of the production, okay. not the maintenance. Yeah. Now that is you have to change your mindset. You have to say to change the perception. Okay. You have to responsible for the machine breakdown because. Yeah. Uh, you have the time eight hours to see the abnormality of the machine. Why don't you hang the red tag? Why don't you inform the mechanic? Yeah. Okay. It is impossible. Mechanic can visit every machine every hour. It's impossible. Yeah. So you, your mindset changing is very important for the TPM and, and Kaizen and 5S and everything. Okay. Number one is changing the mindset. Particularly yeah. the top management, they have to change the mindset. Yeah. Yes. Okay. There is a question. Uh, how can we present the benefits of lean improvements in terms of money as usual, as as usually expected by the management? That is very good question. So you have to you have to 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 study. You have to select the pro one process or one product. For example, you, you select one product and you, you must know what is the KPI of the current product, the, the baseline KPI. Then you have to assume, you have to set up the target for the future, uh, for the future improvement and you can see the gap, how much percent you can improve and okay. then translate this one into the money and present to the management. You know, in terms of profitability, you can present? Sorry? Profitability, profitability. Yes, of the yes, product. yes. Okay. As I told you, if you if there are 1,000 people, you know, uh, and, and, and if you have, uh, you have to pay them 1,000 rupee per day. Yeah. How much? How much per minute? Okay. You can calculate how much per minute. Oh, that right. much saving, time saving. Yes, and, uh, yes. You save the time is when you save the money. Yeah, yeah, correct. Yes. Okay. So there is a few more questions are there. Uh, in your opinion, uh, forced uh, the current COVID situation, will this uh, attitude of JIT change in the manufacturing companies? I will don't think so. Attitude of JIT. I, I don't think so. It's it's COVID can can change only between Raju and me. <laughs> we are changing from you know from in-house training to the online training. That's it. Waste is okay. still waste. Yeah. Can and lean system be IT driven to ensure the process is followed rather than people driving the process? Yeah, but I think I, I think lean is the is the the latest uh, best working method of the mankind. What what was your question again? See this uh, can lean system be IT driven to ensure hmm. the process is oh yes rather than oh yes driving yes. the process yeah. yes the best way the best way of lean implementation the best way of lean improvement is the technology. Yeah. Keep in mind the technology gives you the best process, shortening time. Right? You can see now it in the production line. And if you have the business intelligence, I mean if you have the information intelligence, if you can if the boss can can see in the smartphone anytime when when they found the defect. You, you see, and then everyone can can share the idea. What is the defect? And the operator read the uh, what apps? Oh, oh, this is the defect. So they, you know, they can fix the defect very easy. Yeah. The uh, the the information sharing the uh, the uh, is help the operator to fix the problem faster than before. So, so uh, like like my previous company, we encourage 
every operator use the WhatsApp or, or internet we call the chat line. Okay. Uh, five s in the morning we have to we we request the uh, the the operator have to take the picture before and after five minutes. Okay. We every five minutes in the morning before eight o'clock you have to do the five s and you take the picture and and uh, attach in far, uh, in line in chat line and then after you have it done again you have to take the picture after this is very 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 helpful yeah and i can recommend everyone you should you should set up the the uh, the group in whatsapp between supplier yourselves and you know that is very that is very very uh, useful yeah yeah uh, is one more question is asking who has provided such lean system already implemented a IT related thing in the companies any such installations sorry any sorry please please speak I, louder do you have any such existing installations where it is already done who has provided such lean systems already implemented about uh, IT driven lean systems you mean uh... Yeah, IT related uh, lean systems, IT driven. Oh, you mean uh, the project I have done in Thailand? Uh, uh, yeah, no, no, is is uh, asking IT driven, IT driven lean ah. systems. Any any such installations done in companies across the world? Oh, there are many many IT. IT driven so, means IoT related industry. Yeah, for, like like CMMS, yeah. the computerized yeah. uh, maintenance management system. Okay. Uh, many, there are many. If you want to know, I, I can give it to you. AVIX, uh, the uh, standard, the work standardization, we, 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 we don't use the manual. We have AVIX. Okay. We have Time Prism from Korea. If, if you want, I have. Oh, fantastic. Okay. So yes, I have from Korea. I have from uh, US. Okay. I have many, many. It's, there are many kinds, you know, it's pro, uh, production report or the, uh, the sta work standard. They say, I can, I can have Yamasumi chart. You know, you don't have to, to plot graph by yourself. So we, we have the, the uh, software. Okay, yeah. so there is a one uh, just uh, uh, observation, a lean systems plus IOT plus automation. Is it uh, industry four? It is, that is the, the IOT is, uh, is the part of lean. Yeah. Whatever you, you have improved the information flow or the material flow, this is lean. Okay. Please keep in mind that what is lean. Least lean is Im improving the the product flow and improving the information flow. Okay. Whatever technology you apply for the for improving the information flow is lean. So lean is a macro level, and IoT automation. These are the part of lean. Yes. 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 You see, I just I just told you about the uh, what apps group. The, the group what apps using yeah. for improve the information flow you see that that is the uh, example okay yeah so basically it uh, focuses on uh, value addition yes Those so i i yeah. i want all of you use you know allow the the worker to use the uh, the smartphone yeah for working okay is it impossible to stop them from chatting from you know using the smartphone impossible they have to use but you know it it in the wrong way or in the right way you know when when i was in the automotive industry my operator they don't have time to 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 read the uh, the 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 message uh, they own they have to more than 100 percent they have to use the uh, the the chat live for for the company okay there is a one more question related to stress 
does system motivates people if they have personal or workload stress mm -hmm. does a system motivate people if they have a personal or workload stress stress work workload stress ah why the, the, yeah. you're talking about stress yeah system system can motivate people can the system can motivate the people if the if the people are having their personal uh, you know stress problem uh you know um uh, in in any any uh personnel development uh believe me no pay no gain you have to pay yeah. uh extra money yeah. for the employee who contribute to the to the organization yeah. right yeah or you can set up the uh, what they call the quality incentive yeah okay if in this production line no defect okay you get i don't know it's, it depends on you but don't try to apply incentive in term of quantity please apply the incentive in term of quality yeah the the best quality you manufacture is the money you get yeah that's that okay and uh, any uh, any good example of lean manufacturing in the wind blade manufacturing organization of what what manufacturing wind wind blade wind blade wind energy wind blade wind energy wind solar and wind wind energy wind blade ah any good example of lean manufacturing in wind blade manufacturing organization i i i i think i think is is all applicable at any organization any kind of process yeah i think uh, it is this uh, it's a more of like uh, uh, machine building type these are all yes. customized products and yes even in the construction it, yeah. in the hospital now yeah lean is everywhere even in the church or in school yeah don't worry about that yeah i am sure that you can find the ways in every businesses you see i can i can i can find the uh, the waiting time in every businesses yeah so whenever you can eliminate or you can minimize the waiting time is this mean lean yeah yeah so uh, questions are almost over uh, sir i request you to uh, briefly explain about uh, your uh, upcoming training program on uh, certification toyota production uh, yes for the uh, for the lean implementation workshop or uh, i decide only two man days or uh four four day four times but one day is only three hours it mean three hour four times that is the workshop okay you will have the opportunity to practice like the standard dice work like the uh, 5s like the uh, tpm okay. like the just in time or kanban and every kind of tool okay. under the toyota production system okay you okay. you can ask and you can practice so is this uh, scheduled sir any specific dates you are uh yes yes the i i think raju you you have to offer the certificate okay so yeah. definitely uh, if you give us uh, dates we can schedule the program and we can yeah, 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 to the yeah. audience yeah so any other uh, questions uh, you can please ask uh, we will communicate this and uh, it's a fantastic uh, session on uh, uh, toyota production system it is a uh, very important for indian manufacturing we always feel that uh, we are uh, not following uh, you know uh, uh, industrial engineering standards in many you know smes so this is a very important uh, session and uh, there is one uh, question uh, there was uh, yeah there is one question last question we will mm -hmm. take this question uh, 
ఓకే ఎలాబరేట్ లీన్ సిస్టమ్ ఇన్ ఎడ్యుకేషన్ 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 సిస్టమ్ yes so, why not you have to write down what is the, the process okay. what kind of the process okay. you have to draw the map of the information flow the in in the, in the non manufacturing you have to improve the information flow not the product flow yeah okay you just change from the product flowing in the process to uh, the in, information flow in the procedure yeah the same thing yeah any so waiting for- time waiting time in, in the service industry or in in the education is yeah. maybe maybe higher cost than in the uh, in the manufacturing system because the the uh, the the wage of the worker is is a lot cheaper than in the education circle yeah. right yeah yeah correct so it's a uh, uh, uh the, the, that's the last question uh, okay sir uh, thank you so much for your time and uh, we will uh, share this presentation on uh, our youtube soon we will be sending this uh, uh, youtube link uh, to your email ids uh, thank you, can you access and you can uh, visit our website uh, i will uh, share that uh, uh, link uh, www. Uh, www.ipqc.in go to our okay. page to get the updates and we'll okay. be updating uh, frequently the about uh, upcoming programs uh, yeah. thank you for your time thank you sir thank you for your thank you thank you everyone thank, thank you, you so much thank you yeah